Okay, Happy New Year, everyone. I hope uh, 2021 uh, is a great year, not like last year. But anyway, Happy New Year. Uh, I've been uh, fascinated uh, uh, all these years with magnet motors, pure permanent magnet magnet motors that appear to run without any input of energy from the external source. And it really uh, goes against uh, the laws of, of uh, physics for it to happen. But there's so many great attempts at it that people have tried and then uh, powered some way or another to make it look like it's actually running on just pure magnets, permanent magnets without electromagnet. And there's a new one out that um, there's been three good replication attempts at it that haven't worked out. But I've been fascinated by it, and I'll give a link to it. But in the last few weeks, I've been fiddling around with the concept, and these are ring magnets here. And the field around a ring magnet goes around and then down the middle, around down the middle. And in his machine, he's using a small magnet that is rotated right in the center of that donut of the field. And so I've been um, fiddling around just to see what that looks like. And this is kind of what it is. Uh, the little magnet here, very weak. And uh, you have to have a, a very weak magnet for this to, to work at all. But uh, as the magnet goes by, it pulls on this. And then uh, on his machine, he has a mechanism attached to the main wheel that rotates that magnet just at the middle of that field where there really isn't much force and that's supposed to get rid of the sticking point by rotating that little magnet right in the middle of the ring magnet and doing it mechanically uh, with just linkages with no input of energy and he's got four different videos out and uh, it's very well built it's made out of wood it's beautiful but this is uh, my attempt at just showing what's happening and I have it powered and it's powered by a double A battery, a coil of wire, a reed switch, that as the magnet goes by here, it triggers the reed switch and puts just a little bit of energy into this system. And these magnetic fields are interrelating and it's putting energy into the system, which makes the, the machine work. And I worked for days and days and days on finding out where, where this spot is and how much of a swing of the magnet you need, and how far back and forth this is to um, get this to work even when it's powered up. And if the gentleman's machine is powered up, he's done it in a really, really good way. Some people think that the coil for his machine, which is mounted, the wheel is vertical, not horizontal, it's vertical, that he has the drive coil. Um, in the base of the uh, machine. Possibly, I don't know, but uh, it's beautiful to watch. And he's got four videos on it. I'll give the link to this gentleman's uh, magnet motor. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you this thing. Let me take this off here. And what you've got is you've got a um, ring magnet on a very low friction bearing system interrelating with a permanent magnet on the other side that as this thing goes around they interrelate and if you can input energy into this part of the machine the main rotor keeps on going and like I say in, in his machine it's all a mechanical linkage between the two and there have been some very good replications of it uh, the Russian one um, that uh, is 3D printed is the most beautiful one of the bunch and uh, here again there's a linkage normally between these two parts so that that part is rotated at the right time by the main flywheel going around which causes the machine to keep on going but this is just running on inertia it's in the flywheel that's all it's doing to cause that magnet to go back and forth like that until you put energy into the device and once you add energy into the device now what you're doing is you're adding that little tiny bit of energy that the machine needs to keep working let me get this set up here okay now 
here again it's a double-a battery powered device and if you set this in there in such a way that the machine accepts the energy then it keeps on going anyway these things are fascinating to me and I've always been fascinated by these these motors that are supposedly run strictly by pure uh, permanent magnet magnetism and nothing else and uh, this is a simulation of um, those machines, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, what they call perpetual motion machines that are magnet, pure magnet, the permanent magnet types. But uh, anyway, this is kind of my uh, rendition of that guy's machine, only done on a horizontal plane instead of a vertical plane. And he uses four ring magnets, and then a, a very weak magnet with a connecting. Um, mechanical linkage to rotate it at just the right time and here again I'm doing this with an electromagnet that's being um, energized with one and a half volt uh, double A but it's kind of a curious little thing it'd be fun to build one of these up uh, you know make it uh, real well built maybe even 3d print it and uh, I almost named this the TikTok because listen to it Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope it's a good one.